Hi, I'm Stephen Heron. I'm facing the blazing August heat to show you how to vote early. I will be missing uh, the primary elections happening on August Tuesday, August 13th, because I'm going to be out of town unexpectedly. Um, these are real life situations that can happen to anyone, including you, uh, but it shouldn't stop you from voting. And I'm going to be telling you how you can vote early. You can request a mail-in ballot um, up to 45 days in advance, and it has to be returned by 5 p.m. the day before the election. Um, or you can show up to your city clerk's office, which is what I'm doing now, and grab your ballot in person. Hi there. Uh, I was hoping to pick up a, a ballot, uh, an in-person ballot early. A ballot? Yep. When you arrive at the clerk's office, they will give you a voter absentee ballot request form that you have to fill out. After you fill that form and returned it to your city clerk, they will hand you all the materials that you need to either send your ballot in by mail or you can vote right there in the office, which is what I'm going to do today. You'll get your ballots. Because this is a primary, you can only vote for one party's ballot. You'll receive an envelope to put your unvoted ballots. You'll receive an envelope with instructions on the ballot in which you vote. You'll receive a separate set of instructions and a return envelope if you are mailing it. Now it's important for the August primary that you only put the ballot you voted in in your voted envelope and put the two unvoted ballots in the unvoted envelope. It's also important that both of these are sealed or else your vote will not be verified. For a general election, you will only get a voted ballot envelope. And then once these are sealed, it's important to put them in the return envelope and seal that as well. Once your votes are sealed and certified by signing, you can put it back into the return envelope. Back into the return envelope. And this can be brought back to your clerk's office or sent by the mail. If you're sending back by the mail, it's important to leave ample time for it to be totally sent through the postal system. Uh, the state of Vermont recommends about a week before the election in order to do so, because it has to be received by 7 p.m. when polls close. And just like that, you've completed your civic duty. Thanks for watching Town Meeting TV.